Hi, for this video, what I want to talk to you about is the multiplicity of rational functions. The multiplicity is just how many times something repeats. So in this case, we're looking at how many times does the vertical asymptote repeat. For every single one of these, our horizontal asymptote and our vertical asymptote are the same. So for all of these, our horizontal asymptote is at the line y equals 0 or the x-axis. And for every single one of them, the vertical asymptote is at x equals 2. The reason why the horizontal asymptote is at the x-axis is because the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. That means that I have less variable terms in the numerator than I do in the denominator. Okay, so anytime that is true, that means that it's at 0, okay, at y equals 0. And the vertical asymptote is the same for all of these because x equals 2 is the value that would make the denominator 0, and we can't divide by 0, so it's undefined at that point. Okay, so what I want to specifically look at is where the graph occurs for each of these situations. So the first thing that I'm looking at is the odd multiplicity. So odd multiplicity means that the denominator has an odd degree. So in this case, it's understood to be 1. There's just 1 x minus 2. The same with this one. Okay, anytime you have an odd multiplicity, what's going to happen is your graph is going to open on opposite sides of the horizontal asymptote. So one will be above the horizontal asymptote and one will be the below the horizontal asymptote. So all I'm gonna do is plug in a value for x. So like if I plug in one to figure out where it's going to go. So if I pick, let's say that x is one, one minus two would give me negative one. And if I do one divided by negative one, that gives me negative one. So my graph here will get closer and closer to um, the line x equals 2, and it'll also get closer and closer to the line y equals 0, but it will not cross either of those for this particular one. Okay, and then I would also plug in 3 because it's just one value above 2. So if I plug in 3, I get 1 divided by 1, which is 1. So if you notice for this one, anytime it's odd, they will open on the opposite sides of both the vertical and the horizontal asymptote. Okay, for this one, because of the negative in front, what's going to happen is this is going to reflect across the x-axis. So instead of opening up here, when I plug this in here because I have a negative um, divided by a positive, I would get a negative. And for this one, it would open up here. So what this did was it reflected it across the x-axis, okay? So moving down here, what's going to happen is when I have an even degree, because this is even, because I'm squaring this, when I plug in my value, so let's say I plug in 1, 1 minus 2 gives me negative 1, but then I'm squaring that negative 1, which gives me a positive 1, so that tells me that it would go through the point 1, 1. So my graph will open up here, okay? And then when I go to three and plug it in, I get three minus two, which is one, and one divided by one is one. So if you notice with this one, when it has an even exponent on the asymptote term or the term, or the term that gives you um, zero in the denominator, it will always be on the same side of the horizontal asymptote. It'll be on the opposite side of the vertical, but the same side of the horizontal, okay? And for this one, what's going to happen is because there's a negative on the outside, both of them would go through the negative points down here because I would have a negative divided by a positive, and over here I would also have a negative divided by a positive. Okay, so the location is key. If you have an odd degree, then it's going to be on the opposite sides of the horizontal asymptote. If you have an even degree, it's going to be on the same side of the horizontal asymptote. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics, please let me know that as well. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.